Hello again, everyone. Welcome to our daily devotion for Sunday, December 24th, 2023. Thank you so much for spending this time with me in God's Word today, as together we grow in our faith and in our knowledge of Jesus Christ as our Savior. On this Christmas Eve, we begin our Bible readings with a reading of Psalm 19. Psalm 19, for the choir director, a psalm of David. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the expanse proclaims the work of his hands. Day after day they pour out speech. Night after night they communicate knowledge. There is no speech. There are no words. Their voice is not heard. Their message has gone out to the whole earth, and their words to the ends of the world. In the heavens he has pitched a tent for the sun. It is like a bridegroom coming from his home. It rejoices like an athlete running a course. It rises from one end of the heavens and circles to the other end. Nothing is hidden from its heat. The instruction of the Lord is perfect, renewing one's life. The testimony of the Lord is trustworthy, making the inexperienced wise. The precepts of the Lord are right, making the heart glad. The command of the Lord is radiant, making the eyes light up. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are reliable and altogether righteous. They are more desirable than gold, than an abundance of pure gold, and sweeter than honey dripping from a honeycomb. In addition, your servant is warned by them, and in keeping them there is an abundant reward. Who perceives his unintentional sins? Cleanse me from my hidden faults. Moreover, keep your servant from willful sins. Do not let them rule me. Then I will be blameless and cleansed from blatant rebellion. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable to you, Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Again, we turn to the prophecy of Isaiah. Today we read from chapters 44 and 45 and hear about the Lord's restoration of his people through Cyrus. Remember these things, Jacob and Israel, for you are my servant. I formed you. You are my servant. Israel, you will never be forgotten by me. I have swept away your transgressions like a cloud and your sins like a mist. Return to me, for I have redeemed you. Rejoice, heavens, for the Lord has acted. Shout, depths of the earth. Break out into singing, mountains, forests, and every tree in it. For the Lord has redeemed Jacob and glorifies himself through Israel. This is what the Lord, your Redeemer, who formed you from the womb, says. I am the Lord who made everything, who stretched out the heavens by myself, who alone spread out the earth, who destroys the omens of the false prophets and make fools of diviners, who confounds the wise and makes their knowledge foolishness, who confirms the message of his servant and fulfills the counsel of his messengers, who says to Jerusalem, she will be inhabited, and to the cities of Judah, they will be rebuilt. And I will restore her ruins. Who says to the deeps of the sea, be dry, and I will dry up your rivers. Who says to Cyrus, my shepherd, he will fulfill all my pleasure. And says to Jerusalem, she will be rebuilt. And of the temple, its foundation will be laid. The Lord says this to Cyrus as anointed, whose right hand I have grasped to subdue nations before him and disarm kings, to open doors before him, and even city gates will not be shut. I will go before you and level the uneven places. I will shatter the bronze doors and cut the iron bars in two. I will give you the treasures of darkness and riches from secret places, so that you may know that I am the Lord. I am the God of Israel who calls you by your name. I call you by your name for the sake of my servant Jacob and Israel, my chosen one. I give a name to you, though you do not know me. I am the Lord, and there is no other. 
there is no God but me. I will strengthen you, though you do not know me, so that all may know from the rising of the sun to its setting that there is no one but me. I am the Lord, and there is no other. I form light and create darkness. I make success and create disaster. I am the Lord who does all these things. Heavens, sprinkle from above and let the skies shower righteousness. Let the earth open up so that salvation will sprout and righteousness will spring up with it. I, the Lord, have created it. Woe to the one who argues with his maker, one clay pot among many. Does clay say to the one forming it, what are you making? Or does your work say he has no hands? Woe to the one who says to his father, what are you fathering? Or to his mother, what are you giving birth to? This is what the Lord, the Holy One of Israel and its maker says. Ask me what is to happen to my sons and instruct me about the work of my hands. I made the earth and created humans on it. It, has my hand, it was my hands that stretched out the heavens, and I commanded everything in them. I have stirred him up in righteousness and will level all roads for him. He will rebuild my city and set my exiles free, not for a price or a bribe, says the Lord of armies. This is what the Lord says. The products of Egypt and the merchandise of Cush, at Cush and the Sabaeans, men of stature, will come over to you and will be yours. They will follow you. They will come over in chains and bow down to you. They will confess to you, God is indeed with you. There is no other. There is no other God. Yes, you are a God who hides God of Israel, Savior. All of them are put to shame, even humiliated. Makers of idols go in humiliation together. Israel will be saved by the Lord with an everlasting salvation. You will not be put to shame or humiliated for all eternity. For this is what the Lord says, the creator of the heavens, the God who formed the earth and made it, the one who established it. He did not create it to be a wasteland, but formed it to be inhabited. He says, I am the Lord, and there is no other. I have not spoken in secret somewhere in a land of darkness. I did not say to the descendants of Jacob, seek me in a wasteland. I am the Lord who speaks righteously, who declares what is right. Come, gather together and approach you fugitives of the nations. Those who carry their wooden idols and pray to a God who cannot save have no knowledge. Speak up and present your case. Yes, let them consult each other. Who predicted this long ago? Who announced it from ancient times? Was it not I, the Lord? There is no other God but me, a righteous God and Savior. There is no one except me. Turn to me and be saved, all the ends of the earth. For I am God, and there is no other. By myself I have sworn, truth has gone from my mouth, a word that will not be revoked. Every knee will bow to me. Every tongue will swear allegiance. It will be said about me, righteousness and strength are found only in the Lord. All who are enraged against him will come to him and be put to shame. All the descendants of Israel will be justified and boast in the Lord. We now turn to Revelation chapter 12, and we see a vision of how Satan will do his very best to try to destroy God's church, but he will not succeed, for the Lord is fighting for his people, and he will rescue them and keep them safe. A great sign appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and a crown of twelve stars on her head. She was pregnant and cried out in labor and agony as she was about to give birth. Then another sign appeared in heaven. There was a great fiery red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns, and on its heads were seven crowns. Its tail swept away a third of the stars in heaven and hurled them to the earth. And the dragon stood in front of the woman who was about to give birth, 
so that when she did give birth, it might devour her child. She gave birth to a son, a male who is going to rule all nations with an iron rod. Her child was caught up to God and to his throne. The woman fled into the wilderness where she had a place prepared by God to be nourished there for 1,260 days. Then war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. The dragon and his angels also fought, but he could not prevail, and there was no place for them in heaven any longer. So the great dragon was thrown out, the ancient serpent who is called the devil and Satan, the one who deceives the whole world. He was thrown to earth and his angels with him. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, The salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ have now come, because the accuser of our brothers and sisters who accuses them before our God day and night has been thrown down. They conquered him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, for they did not love their lives to the point of death. Therefore rejoice, you heavens, and you who dwell in them. Woe to the earth and the sea, because the devil has come down to you with great fury, because he knows his time is short. When the dragon saw that he had been thrown down to the earth, he persecuted the woman who had given birth to the male child. The woman was given two wings of a great eagle so that she could fly from the serpent's presence to her place in the wilderness, where she was nourished for a time times, and half a time. From his mouth the serpent spewed water like a river flowing after the woman to sweep her away with a flood. But the earth helped the woman. The earth opened its mouth and swallowed up the river that the dragon had spewed from his mouth. So the dragon was furious with the woman and went off to wage war against the rest of her offspring, those who keep the commands of God and hold firmly to the testimony about Jesus. And now the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with his favor and give you peace. Amen. Thank you so much for spending this time with me in God's word today. May the Lord richly bless your day. And I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow.